I actually don't know how to cut an onion. <laughs> what your day of eating looks like, mm -hmm. you told me. And you told me you really love a smoothie in the breakfast, I do. breakfast right? I do, yeah. So you're gonna show me a good smoothie. I'm gonna show you a smoothie like my, my kind of go-to, so I'm very curious if you would like it too. Yeah. Um, if you're getting a smoothie at Lunchies Press or anywhere, yeah. what, what kind of do you like? Well, I like, always like some sort of like oat milk, almond milk, something like that as a base. I always want greens in there. Yeah. Some form of protein, like I always want to get protein in the mornings and like something mm -hmm. easy to kind of like have. Yeah. And then some element of sweetness or something like that. So, fruits or something. Yeah, exactly. Which it looks well, like. Ta -da. But I don't know what yeah, that is. So, what we have this is a mix <laughs> like, of, this is flaxseed and chia seed. Oh, so okay. For good digestion and some good fats. Then I brought uh, maca powder. Have you ever had that? I have not. Um, it's like a superfood. It's very strong and it has a very earthy flavor. So I really love it. I'm curious if yeah. you like it. Then banana for sweetness. We got frozen mangoes. It's a little tropical green. Yeah. yeah. Uh, frozen spinach. Because then it doesn't taste so like greenish. And then uh, I got oat milk. I love oat milk. Oat milk <laughs> is your my fridge. favorite thing ever. I was like, yes, yes. Perfect. Um, so yeah, basically we're just gonna blend everything in there, and then uh, we're gonna have is this, morning. Is this what you have in the morning? What? This? What do you have? Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly what I love to have. In the really? Morning. Yeah. I okay. love to have protein powder sometimes. I did not bring it. Today. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't but, have it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. We can, uh, okay. Yeah. We can start here. So perfect. Okay. You? I never put banana in my smoothie. Really? No, I don't know why. I don't really eat bananas that much. I always do like mixed berries or something like that. Um, Sometimes I do half if I don't want that much sweetness. Yeah. I do half and I just put the other half like in the freezer or something. Yeah. Like, use it for like, later in the day. We've been talking too much. It's almost like <laughs> I'm not frozen anymore. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put like a hand, big hand food. And frozen mango. All of them? All of it? Yeah. I think so. Do you like mangoes? I do. I love mango. I love like um. It's We're like kind of like mango. I know. Actually, we <laughs> are. I love my favorite dessert ever. Actually, is mango sticky rice. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah I'm too. And there, you can't find it anywhere in the Thai restaurants here. It's no. crazy. But it's it will. It, there's no way it can be like the way it is in, in Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. I. Anyone Thai out there? Love we love you. Come yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is kind of, uh, from all the superfoods, this is the strongest superfood, like with vitamins and minerals and everything. Okay. It also has the strongest flavor, and for some reason I can't open it. Uh, got it. Can I want to smell, smell it? it? Oh, it's, that's a, that's earthy. Very earthy. It's very, it's weird, because it's like, how would you describe earthy, but it's yeah. Really earthy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put two teaspoons of the flaxseed and chia seed. Perfect. And then to start with, I'm just gonna put one teaspoon in there okay. because like I don't want it to be overpowering. Overpowering. Because the oat only is quite uh, sweet though, yeah. so that will help. There we go. And then, and then only. Honestly, I feel even when you're like on the go, a smoothie yeah. is such like an easy thing to make. Yeah. Just like I love it. Yeah, especially for a workout and stuff like that. It's like yeah. my favorite thing. It's easy, and I feel like I get nutrients in one hit. One so, hit. but I never had mango in a smoothie. So, yeah. Do you think that's enough liquid? This is it. What do you think? It's really good. I like actually the earthiness is good. Yeah. 
with the mix of the mango, it kind of like offsets it. You do need some like fruit. Yeah. There. Otherwise, yeah. And I love how thick it is. I love when my smoothies are super thick because mm -hmm. it makes it feel like super substantial. Yeah. Otherwise, also it's some liquid that I feel like I can finish it in like two seconds. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, my yummy smoothie is finished. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's so, so good. Is it approved? Approved. I love it. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. I think I'm going to be excited for our next one though. <laughs> excited for lunch. Well, the good thing is because there's lots of fruits in there um, and also veggies, it will keep us full. Yeah, lunch. exactly. Perfect. We will see you guys in a little bit for lunch time. Yes. ever is macaroni and cheese. I feel like it just brings me back to like my childhood and I think it's so like satisfying and comforting. It's like a good comfort it's food. It's such a good comfort food, yeah. I actually never had mac and cheese before I came to the US. Like that, so strange. Oh and then God. here, like, everywhere on the menu, like I see mac and cheese. So, it's today blessed. we're going to make a mac and cheese but we're gonna make a much more like healthier version and much more nutritious version. And it's actually going to be vegan. So if you're vegan, you can also make this at home. Honestly, I've made variations on this recipe. I've never made this recipe before, so I'm very curious. Yeah, I'm super curious. I'm like, if you can make a vegan macaroni and cheese taste like macaroni like and cheese. Like what you like, then oh. <laughs> so that's the real test. That's the real test, yeah. Um, so the macaroni we're going to use is this uh, panza. This is, yeah, 100% made out of like chickpeas. Or not 100%, but like made out of chickpeas. So much more yeah, healthy, much more vi fiber. Um, we're gonna start off with cutting an onion and you need like one potato. And you're just gonna peel it and then we're gonna grate it. This is just in small pieces. I actually don't know how to cut an onion. <laughs> <laughs> this just became an onion cutting tutorial. Welcome! <laughs> Honestly, not a long time ago, I googled how to grate a potato because I didn't know what the word grating meant in English. Uh, I was like, I, what is grating a potato? So I googled it and I was like, oh, that it was a separate tutorial on YouTube. It was amazing. Like, <laughs> but I just cut it in half, right? Cut it first in half. I peel it. Yeah, first, first I peel, peel it. So if you take off the, the top first, there you okay. go. Step one. Yeah. Done. Ta-da, and then it's much easier to, uh, to peel it. So Max must be jazzed that you're such a good cook. Yeah, but he needs to clean everything. So, <laughs> like, um, so yeah, we do both. Put the onions in there. So the onions are like a little bit brownish. And we're gonna add the potato. Stump it on? Yes. Put it in. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of garlic powder, even though there is already garlic in there. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. And I'm going to add like one to a half teaspoon of mustard. Mm. Okay, this is all soft right now. So we can add cashews. This is about two thirds of a cup, and I soaked these before. So it's yeah, much for more how soon. long? Um, for at least four hours. You can try to do it overnight. So I'm adding this, and I'm also adding uh, water. Okay, so our water is boiling and now we are going to boil the bonza pasta. So let's do it. Okay. Look at it. Woo! Chef Emily, yay! <laughs> we have to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, so while those are cooking, we're gonna make the sauce. And this is gonna make the mac and cheese like, yeah, creamy. We need that cheese flavor. 
Yeah. So what we're gonna do, that mixture of like the potato, the cashews, everything, we're gonna put in a little food processor. Everything is in here. Obviously, mac and cheese, we need like a cheese flavor. Yeah. Vegan is obviously no cheese. So we're gonna use nutritional yeast, and this is gonna give the cheesy flavor. This yeah. is about a quarter cup. It's actually very nice too, like veggies or anything, if you want a cheese flavor. Oh, really? Okay, then I'll have to try. Um, and I have like two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Do you like pepper? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Spice? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Perfect. Mm. Okay, the chickpeas. Time to strain. Already. Wait, where's the restraining? Over there. It's over here. Um, so if you want to keep the texture of like the pasta, and you don't want to have it like completely like soaked and like yeah. wet, you rinse it out with cold water. Oh, okay. Then it kind of has this like more of a texture and you don't get like a smosh. Okay, we can put the pan on the fire. We use actually a different pan, but you can use the same pan as you made this. Yeah, sausage, but we were a little bit clumsy. The pan. Okay, pasta is in there, and then we're gonna add the sauce. Yay! Drum. It looks Ready. delicious. Okay, we can put it in here. Okay, let's see. It already sounds like yeah. It's like it sounds so creamy, sticky, yummy. This definitely looks like comforting food. Okay. It really does. Here, I'll just do it. Oh, no, no, no. Put it on the side. Five second rule. <laughs> there we go. Delicious. Okay. okay. Now it's I'm gonna be to try. the moment of truth. Vegan, healthy mac and cheese. Mmm. It does taste. It actually does taste like. Mm. It has this cheesy flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. This version, because the chickpeas are so much more vibrant. Um, if you want to make it like a main dish and you want some vegetables, obviously you can have veggies on the side, but you can also mix broccoli into it. Mm. Um, so then you basically have chickpeas with broccoli. And That's a good idea. You mm. get protein from the cashews. It's delicious. Mm. And that was actually well, super easy. We're gonna enjoy our mac and cheese a little bit. And then tonight, mm -hmm. what's on the menu? Well, you kind of created the menu because you wanted to have fish with veggies, or that's your usual mm -hmm. dinner. So tonight we're going to make a miso salmon with some broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Delicious! That sounds Easy. great. This is with salmon, um, inspired on like the fish at Nobu because mm -hmm. we love. <laughs> yes, the best. I love that dish. Um, yeah, and because it's fall, I thought it would be nice to have some Brussels sprouts and then some broccoli, some like really good greens for like antioxidants. Um, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna make a little marinade for um, for the salmon. It's actually the longer you marinate it. The better the taste, we just marinate it for like 30 minutes, which helps as well. Take the half of this white miso. I just got this one at Whole Foods actually, I think it's 
half of it. Oh, half. Yeah. We're gonna make it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Then I got in here two tablespoons of uh, sake. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. And then we're going to put a fork. <laughs> Just a teaspoon of sugar. In the original one it says two teaspoons, but what I often do also when I make cakes and everything, mm -hmm. I just do half the sugar. Mm. It's still very tasty. Oh um, yeah. But it's just like a little bit less. So. This does not work with the fork. Here. Here. Oh wait, here. Definitely gonna be jazzing up my typical salmon. <laughs> okay, so what does your perfect salmon, or how do you prepare your, your salmon? I literally just typically put the salmon on a pan. <laughs> and then I just do avocado oil, salt, and that's all. So pepper, actually, I do have to say, your pepper uh, salmon doesn't need that much. It doesn't. It, not at all. If you cannot, if you're not good in cooking meat or like, yeah, in like fancy recipes, that is a very easy like, thing. Like, and yeah. avocado oil is really okay. So then we're gonna grab the salad and just pour this on top, and then we're gonna put this in the in the fridge until uh, we make the veggies. Fridge. Fridge. We're gonna cut up some veggies. Perfect. I think these are pretty. Those look those good are too. good already. Yeah, these are just like halfway through. So we're doing more Brussels sprouts. Space for the. This is so healthy! Yummy! The more greens, the better. Good for your skin. Actually, I do notice now, especially in the winter, yeah. I want to cook more because I'm just like, I need, like, I don't have enough vitamin D. I need, yeah. like, other vitamin C, so everything. There we go. I've actually never buy, bought a spray. I always like these because it makes it super easy to cover it, and then I feel like I always waste a lot of oil. So it's kind of nice to just. Okay. How long would you put these in? How long would you put these in? These. Like 20 minutes? 20, yeah. Yeah. Same time. Yeah. Okay. Then we're gonna put some salt. Which seasoning are we gonna put in the Brussels sprouts? <laughs> I don't know. What do you like? We could do. That too. <laughs> okay, we can put some cumin on the broccoli. Um, I normally like on um, Brussels sprouts like maple syrup and cinnamon because it makes it more like sweet. Oh, but what I did get today at Whole Foods was bacon's vegetarian bit. Let's try. Smell it because I don't really eat meat. I mean, it smells. See? You have bacon? <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god, that smells like bacon. We can try to put this on top maybe afterwards. I think that would give I it a nice... I think that's a good idea. Crunchy bird of foods. Oh, it's, it's very... Four. Oh my goodness, that's strong. Okay, what for cumin on the Brussels sprouts or the broccoli? The broccoli. And then shall I put this on the... Yeah, why not? Okay, Let's we're see just gonna it. try it. This is what well, we're... Maybe you put it afterwards, but let's yeah. try to put I think it would be good, then it will... Yeah. I really love first surprise with bacon, to be honest. So, <laughs> so do I. I hope it's gonna work out. No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab the salmon. I wish my cooking was this perfectly curated. When I cook, it's like stuff everywhere, <gasps> things are burning. <laughs> Hopefully, you can make this one. Now. I need Sana's kitchen mm -hmm. every day. No, I need this kitchen. <laughs> this kitchen is fantastic, guys. What do you think? It's no. like so spacious and big, and I'm like, oh my god.
Instead of like big, big like cakes. Same. Oh my god, wine and cheese and like a charcuterie no. plate. Have you ever done that on your channel? Like made like a really festive cheese board. I actually have never done that. You really should. I have a friend who does that every holiday. Like she does a big cheese meat. I think it's board. Also incredible what people can do like really nice art. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Food art, here we go. Are we gonna try it? I'm, I wanna try these Brussels sprouts with these. Oh yeah, with the bacon. Mmm, that's super good. That's really yummy. What is in there? Vegetarian bits. Soy protein, salt, natural flavor. Delicious, okay. Broccoli. We go one by one, eating the rainbow. Mmm. Human. I like it with the avocado oil too. Mm -hmm. I know. Literally, it. guys, we made this, I think, in 10 minutes. Yeah, it's true. Okay, delicious. I'm gonna mm. some salmon. Mmm, delicious. Are you gonna post these recipes in the description? Because I'm gonna <laughs> be asking <laughs> you to love making afterwards. Because there's no way I'm gonna remember. Oh. Delicious. I left um I left the ingredients in the fridge. So uh, that's true. Yeah, I should make like, it. Do you these? <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> mm, they're really good. Mm. So overall, how was the day of? So good. I I really liked it because breakfast was super healthy. Lunch was savory and sort of like fulfilled a craving. Yeah. Like that, sure. but, but on a healthy version of it. And then this is just good because I'm such a bland cooker. Like, and literally all we did with the broccoli was put a little bit of cumin on there and I am blown away. <laughs> Sometimes it's super helpful. <laughs> Sometimes it's helpful to have a friend cook with you to be like, yeah. hey, have you ever tried this? And you're like, And it's oh. more fun. I love cooking. And it's way more fun. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. So welcome. Thank you for having me. Don't forget to follow Emily on Instagram and on her amazing YouTube channel as well. And then, yeah, we're gonna enjoy the evening. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys very soon. Don't Thank forget you. to subscribe. Bye.